Did you know that the word pumpkin showed up for the first time in the fairy tale Cinderella? Pumpkins are the unofficial fall mascot. When those beautiful orange orbs with green stalks appear at grocery stores and farmers markets, it heralds the end of the scorching summer and the arrival of colder temperatures, crisper air and of course, Halloween. But how well do you know your pumpkins? Here's all you need to know about pumpkins, including some fascinating facts that will have you saying, oh my god. The term pumpkin appeared for the first time in the famous fairy tale Cinderella. In 1584, French adventurer Jacques Critier visited the St. Lawrence area and discovered the gross melons. The melons were called pepin in Latin and then pompions in English, which developed into the name pumpkin. Modern versions of the Cinderella narrative initially emerged in Italian literature in 1634 and French literature in 1697, using the name pumpkin. Pumpkins are technically a fruit. So, although you will not find pumpkin in a fruit salad dish, scientifically speaking, a pumpkin is a fruit, since everything that grows from a blossom is botanically a fruit. Pumpkins are high in nutrients and low in calories. One cup of cooked pumpkin includes 49% of your daily vitamin K requirements while also providing vitamin C, potassium, vitamin E, iron, folate, and niacin. Furthermore, pumpkins are high in the antioxidant beta-carotene. In studies, beta-carotene has been proven to help fight infections, prevent various age-related eye impairments, and may help protect the skin from damaging UV radiation. Pumpkin seeds are also edible and form a nice and nutritious snack. Although pumpkin seeds are tiny, they are high in nutrients. Even if you only eat a tiny bit of them, you will get a lot of beneficial fats, magnesium, and zinc. Pumpkin seeds have been linked to several health advantages. These include enhanced heart health, prostate health, and cancer prevention. The Native Americans cultivated pumpkins long before the pilgrims. Thus they even taught them how to grow and cook them. Pumpkin custard is said to have been served at the first Thanksgiving feast in 1621, attended by both pilgrims and Native Americans. Illinois is the pumpkin capital of the world. In 1978, the governor of Illinois signed a proclamation that Morton, Illinois was the pumpkin capital of the world since 85% of the world's canned pumpkin was processed at Libby's pumpkin plant. Farmers must begin cultivating pumpkins in the spring, since they can take 90 to 120 days to mature before October. There are now 73 kinds of named pumpkins in the world. Each pumpkin variety has distinct functions, from little ornamental pumpkins like the Jack B. Little to the Crimson Rouge Vif de Tomp. Many people believe that Cinderella pumpkins are the best to eat. The best kind for carving and the easiest for beginners to grow is the jack-o'-lantern. The jack-o'-lantern has a long history with Halloween. Their origins can be traced back to an Irish legend about Stingy Jack who deceived the devil for monetary gain. When Jack died, God refused to admit him to heaven and the devil refused to admit him to hell. So. Jack was sentenced to roam the world, eternally. To frighten away Jack's wandering soul, people in Ireland began carving demonic faces out of turnips. When Irish immigrants arrived in the United States, they began carving jack-o'-lanterns out of pumpkins, which were natural to the area. Did you also know that uncut pumpkins can be stored in a dry, cold place for up to three months? In fact, the longer you keep them, the sweeter and nuttier the flavor grows. So, did you discover anything new today? Can you think of any other interesting fact we should include? Leave them in the comments section below, we enjoy hearing from you.